Hello everyone and welcome back to a, another video on the channel. Today we're discussing the much anticipated Algeria squad for the upcoming AFCON qualifiers against Zambia away and at home to Botswana. Now of course we are the last nation to release our squad. Everyone else in Africa had released their squad earlier. For some reason Algeria waits until Sunday just a few days before the game actually letting clubs announce that we've got players announced before the national team does. But Mardi had a uh, press conference cancelled, so a bit of a mess, but we're late. We used to being late, like yeah, Algerie, we're always late. But nonetheless, better late than never. The squad has been announced, uh, and Jamal Belmadi has picked 28 names for these upcoming games. The reason I think you've got 28 names, uh, which you can see on the screen right now, is because I think with the game away to Zambia, there will be some players missing. I do think some players maybe won't be allowed to travel. I'm not sure which players. There's rumours that the likes of Mahrez and Benrahma from the Premier League won't be able to travel to those games. So we'll have to wait and see. So I do think Ben Mahdi has called up 28 names just in case he misses a few players that are unable to travel. But it's an interesting squad. There's a couple of debutants as well. So let's get into these players. So first up, Rice and Bulhi as a goalkeeper. We know he's going to be the number one. He's been the number one for the past decade now. So that's no surprise. And the two backup keepers, Wakija and Duha. We did think that maybe some of the league art players were going to be missing from the national team squad. A lot of league art clubs said that they weren't going to be releasing their players. For example, we haven't got Andy Delore in this squad and that may be well the reason why. But to have Okija in there is very good. He's been playing regularly in League A before he got that red card. We've got Mbulhi as well and we've got Azadine Duha. So three solid goalkeepers. Not really worried about that. Maybe Okija won't be travelling traveling to Zambia but it's not a big deal because Rice and Mbulhi is the number one anyway. So the goalkeeping situation is straightforward. Then we've got 25 outfield players. Let's start off with the defence and... There is only one man that we have to start with, Ahmed Touba, played for Belgium under-21s, born in France, played for all the Belgium youth sides, and interestingly, not the French youth sides, the Belgian youth sides, played for the Belgium under-21s in their last squad, and Touba has switched to playing for Algeria, which finally we've got a player playing in Europe on our side. It seems like ages we've got a decent player playing in Europe. Remember when we had Rao Rao in the FA, the likes of Faguli and Brahimi and Gulam coming along. Great days then. Could this be the start of another golden generation? So Ahmed Touba um, played as a centre-back recently in the Dutch League. He started out at Club Bruges, uh, moved to Holland, very close to Belgium. Playing as a centre-back, scored three goals this season. Can also play as a left-back. Um, his FIFA card's a left-back. He's a silver card. Not judging by FIFA stats, but he has got quite a bit of pace on him. Um, can also apparently do a job at left wing, but has recently been playing as a left back and a centre back. So Ahmed Touba is a name that has excited a lot of people. Uh, 23 years of age, really exciting prospect to get involved in the squad. So he's a new face we're hopefully going to see. Get him playing his debut for a competitive Algeria match and then he's ours for the whole of the future. So that's good. In terms of the left back position, a few familiar names. Remy Ben Sabaini, we thought Ben Sabaini wasn't going to come. He's coming. He's another one that might miss the Zambia game. Abdelawi is in the squad as well. Uh, no Mohamed Fares. Mohamed Fares has got an injury. Um, had an interesting season with Lazio Fares. Hasn't been a main starter. They're out of the Champions League now as well. So Ben Sabaini should have that left back role. Hopefully Tuba can get a, a game in left back or centre back. Abdelawi's in there as well. In terms of the right back position, we've got Kasef who plays for Tondela. He can do a job at full back. We've got Beniada who plays for Esperance. He's played for Algeria before, a very experienced Algerian league player, experienced CAF Champions League player. No use of Artal, that's a big blow. And I do start, to, I've said this before, I do think Artal might actually be an injury prone player, which could be a problem for us because we know how good he is and how much he likes to run and work hard. But Artal's injury record is not great. He even missed the semi final and the final of the last AFCON that we won. But the man who replaced him, Medi Zafan, playing in Russia at the moment, Zafan's back in this squad. So. There's kind of a few left backs and right backs in this squad that we're able to choose from. So that's good. So maybe Zafan will come back in and take that right back position. We could see Kasef who's playing in Portugal with Ton Daly at the moment. He could come into the squad and do a job. And in terms of the centre backs, usual suspects are in there. Your Ben Lamrys, your Mandy, Tahra and Budrain is in there as well. Budrain, another player that plays in Tunisia at the moment. He's been playing in the CAF Champions League. A lot of these good Algerian league prospects do end up moving to clubs in Tunisia or Egypt because there's a higher standard of football there and they get further in the CAF Champions League competition so Tahra, Mandy, Ben Lamry and Bedrain and maybe even Touba as centre-back options in this squad so that's interesting. Um, Maxime Spano 
Spano Rajo made his debut last year, the year before. We've not seen much of him since, so that's an interesting decision not to call him up. Um, but overall, it's a solid defence, obviously missing some players, missing Yusuf Atal, uh, Ben Lamry and Mandy, the main centre-backs. No Fares as the backup left-back, but it's a squad more than capable of keeping Algeria's unbeaten record up, I think. So I've, I've got to say I'm, I'm quite happy with it. Of course, Fauzi Gulam is not in the squad again. He's actually injured at the moment again. So maybe Gulam's Algeria career could be over. It's a real shame how it's ended because he was such a legend at the Brazil World Cup. But that's the defence. Uh, let's move on to the midfield. Again, we've got another new debutant. Let's start with him, Ramiz Zarouki, 22 years of age, born in Amsterdam, plays for 20 in the Eredivisie, another player that Belmadi's gone out and got. Again, not a French-born, a Dutch-born, um, so we're seeing a Belgian youth player and a Dutch young player come into the Algeria squad. So born in Amsterdam, he's declared for Algeria as well. Great work by the FA to get Zarouki on board. Hopefully he's good because I do think centre midfield is a real position that we need to work on. There's no Badawi. Um, a lot of people rate Badawi. I'm not convinced by Badawi yet. I still think he needs to prove himself. Had some good games with Nice this season, but he's injured at the moment. Adlin Gudiora, we're still relying on him. How long are we going to be relying on Gudiora for? On Faguli. Faguli's in here as a centre as well. Not had that much game time with Galatasaray this season. We've got Mehdi Abid as well. Went to the AFCON. Um, he can do a job. He's played in the Premier League, but he's in the Middle East now. He's left league, uh, so he's dropped the standard of football that he's playing. The days of Tyder and Bentaleb look to be well over. They're nowhere to be seen. Bentaleb and Schalke look like they're actually going to get relegated, which I think is an absolute disgrace. They're in the Champions League not long ago, Schalke. I mean, I don't know what they're doing. That is shocking. Ismail Benassa. We thought he might have an injury problem. He's been called up. I'll be shocked if he plays against Zambia because I think he's not even fully fit yet. Didn't feature for AC Milan against Manchester United in the Europa League. So Benassa, we know how good he is. But Kubla is there as well. Um, missed AFCON because he flashed, but he's back in there. Another player playing in Liga at the moment, actually captain his Liga side. So he's an interesting talent, but we still haven't seen much of Ben Kubler in the national team squad. So the AFCON in his field of Gudiora, Faguli and Benassa is there. Uh, Badawi is missing, Abid is there, Ben Kubler is there. And Ramis Zarouki is a player that I want to see given his debut. When we've got that home game against Botswana at home, against relatively weak opposition. I want to see the likes of Zarouki and Tuba play for Algeria, and I want to see how good they are, because playing in Holland is not the same level as playing in France. Of course, the Dutch league is not as good as Liga. But when you see talents like Ajax go far in European competitions, there might be some real gems there. So they're players to look out for. And then in the attack, there is a whole host of options. We'll talk about who's missing first. Andy Delors not here. Um, I'm not sure why, he's fully fit. That might be to do with Montpellier not releasing players. But it's a shame that Andy's not been called up because he's been in fine form into double figures in league uh, this season. Um, no Yassine Brahimi. Could this be the end of Brahimi with Algeria with the emergence of Saeed Ben Rahma and Yusuf Belayli coming back on the left wing? That's a huge call having Belayli back. We've barely seen Belayli in the past 12 months for Algeria. He's back in, so he pretty much replaces Yassine Brahimi. And Ben Rahma's in there as well, still yet to really bring his Brentford form to West Ham. Um, he's been playing well, he's got some assists for West Ham and I think he's right that he's in the squad because he's a fantastic player playing in the Premier League. Um, bit sad there's no Brahimi, but again, if you compare what Belayli's done since he's gone to Qatar and almost become the top scorer instantly, then you have to bring Belayli back in and you know how good Belayli is for Algeria. He's a top talent, so it's good that he's in. On the right side of midfield, we've got obviously Riyad Mahrez in there, Rashid Gazelle makes a return. He's got a lot of assists in Turkey with Besiktas. He's gone to Turkey and he's really started to recover his career gazelle. Not a player that's impressed when playing for Algeria, but had so much high hopes for him when he was at Lyon, as with many of the Lyon players like him and Benzia and Belfadil. But unfortunately, it's not worked out for him in Europe. He's gone to Turkey, he's reinvented himself, and Gazelle looks okay. So Gazelle comes back in in the right midfield, and Farid Bulaya, who looks like a really good player for Mets this season, we saw what he could do against Nigeria in a friendly last year for Algeria. Belaya looks like a good talent, and he's someone we could really do playing as a backup on the right or in the camp position because there's no Adam Nurse this time. Adam Nurse had a lot of problems in Italy, had a, um, allegations of racism against him, had to change club. Um, he's at the club that are at the bottom of Serie A at the moment. He's been playing well, but he really should be given a chance at a top club. And when Nurse went to Nice, I thought that was going to be the start of something special for him. That hasn't worked out. He's ruled out with an injury problem. So we're going to have Bulaya, Gazelle and Mares for the right wing. And then up front, no Andy Delore. And it feels a little bit like the Hali Hodzic era because there's call-ups for Islam Slimani and Hilal Sudani. Um, Slimani going to Lyon 
has definitely helped because when he was at Leicester playing for the under 23s, he was literally not getting a look in. Um, Sudani's gone from Greece to Saudi Arabia, although half the squad seems to have gone to Saudi Arabia. I think that, again, picking 28 players, picking players of experience, not risking any young strikers we haven't seen before, probably the right option for Bonamardi in games that relatively don't matter that much. He's already qualified to the next AFCON with two games to spare. Slomani and Sudani, I'd be surprised if they start, but with no Delors, they're probably players we had to call up. Baghdad Bunajah is the main man, is the guy looking to break records, will be starting up front. Um, Travelling from Qatar, no real travel issues there, so he'll probably start up front against Zambia. And Usama Dafalu has got a few goals this season for Vitesse in the Eredivisie, which means we've actually got three players from the Dutch league called up, with Zaruki, Tuba and Dafalu. So a little bit of Algerian contingency in the Dutch league there. Um, again, a backup striker, not expecting too much from him, but he's probably done well, and Ben Mullis rewarded his goals this season in Holland with a call-up. So those are the 28 names for Algeria. We've got Ahmed Tuba and uh, Rami Zarouki to look forward to. Brilliant names. I want to know your thoughts on this squad in the comments down below. I want to know your thoughts in the comments down below. We thought we'd be seeing a lot of players missing. Again, we don't know what's going to happen for the Zambia game, if these players will be playing or not, but that is the squad that Jamal Belmadi has picked. Let me know your thoughts on the squad and if you think it will be winning both the games. I think going to Zambia will be tough because Zambia really need to win if they want to qualify. So that will be a tough game and then we should be relatively okay at home to Botswana with all of the players available. But that is the Algeria squad. Let me know your thoughts on it down below in the comments. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time.